Hey everybody, it's been a long time, but we're back for another season of In the Shop. I'm Joe Conkley and we're here at Elderly Instruments. Let me show you what I'm working on right now. First thing I got, a really nice 1957 0028. Uh, I have already replaced the bridge. This original bridge had a really wide slot with a pickup in it and all of the slots for the strings ramped really forward. The slot was really deep to accommodate the, the uh, pickup and it was so deep that it went all the way through there and all that was compromising the structural integrity of the bridge. They had also finished over the bridge, which is a little uh, unique. You can't really see them too well, but there were two screws holding the bridge down at one point. Those screw holes had been plugged in both the bridge and the top of the guitar. All that led me to replace the bridge and all that also compromised the bridge plate a bit. You can't see it too well on this original bridge plate, but maybe uh, maybe this can illustrate. Quite warped. This would usually be flat or closer to flat. And uh, so we removed the bridge plate to replace it. You can see the, the burn marks. We use uh, heat to warm up the bridge plate and let that heat penetrate to the glue joint here, all done through the sound hole. And uh, yeah, warm up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it gets pretty hot. It gets to the point where the, you know, the, the plate itself gets scorched. But, um, and the customer provided me with some nice materials, this uh, really nice chunk of aged, uh, maple which i chopped down to make the bridge plate which is in there and this really nice chunk of uh aged ebony too that i made our new very nice uh bridge out of and i'm in the process now of making a nut out of this really nice chunk of uh legal ivory that he sent me. Mm -hmm. This is gonna be the saddle. You're gonna have to chop this down into a saddle blank. And so, new bridge plate, new bridge. I've reset the neck and uh, refretted it. All those new frets are in there. And they are, uh, you know, trued up the fingerboard. Installed the new frets. I've got the fret ends just um, filed down to flush with the angle on them. Just topped off the frets here. And what I need to do now is to string this thing up to see where I'm at with the neck angle and uh, the refret and how how uh, how that's going to work out under string tension before I finish off the frets. But of course, to do that, I need to cut the slot in the bridge um, and uh, usually save that for this part of it rather than do it before the bridge is put on. So I got this nut blank it's fit pretty good there. I'm going to fine tune that, of course, but right off here, what I am going to do is to mark off my saddle placement. And so this is the short scale Martin. Uh, the long scale is usually noted as 25.4 and this is looked at as 24.9. Both of those standard measurements are actually not really the scale length technically, but actually the position of the high E string at the saddle. Because the scale length is from this joint here where the end of the fingerboard and the nut meet 
right to the middle of this 12th fret doubled. Then you add a compensation factor, which is you just add a little bit of uh, length to that so that uh, you account for the fact that the strings are sitting up above the frets and they will be pressed down to the, to the uh, fret itself, which stretches the string, which very much like when you bend the string is gonna raise the pitch of the string. So all that uh, comes out. So what we got here is 24.1, times two, or 12, let's do this. Four one times two gives us 24.82 plus 0.1 tenth of an inch compensation factor, which is 24.92, which is again why they, why the standard um, number for this is, is known as 24.9. And that's gonna be the front of the uh, high E and then the low E is, so the compensation factor for the high E, I usually put at 24, a tenth of an inch. Um, and then an additional 0.16 for the low E, which is usually on a dreadnought guitar with, with um, medium strings. So I'll make it, um, it's usually, 24 or another 0.14 on this end, which should see 24. Let's see, that's why I have a calculator <laughs> because 25.06, that's right, or right around. Eep. That would be the low E, it's around a tenth of an inch. This is going to be a, uh, what you call a through bridge saddle in the traditional style that it will not have an end to the slot. The slot will be cut all the way through these wings here. So that's the uh, position. Make sure I didn't hit my mark too well there on the, on the high E. I'm gonna redraw that. Well, that's confusing, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Let's redraw that. There we go. Sweet. That's where I'm going to cut my slot. And uh, let's go back to the machine room and do that. Am I in a good position to the... The laser, gotta see the lasers.
Yeah. first time make sure the frets are where they need to be and then I can just finish that off the frets the nut and the saddle done thanks that's it in the shop see you in a few weeks